Hi, this is a Joomla video tutorial describing how to link to a file or a document, such as a Word file, uh, an image file that you want people to be able to open or download, uh, a zip file, an Excel file, a PDF, something like that. Um, in order to use this tutorial on Joomla, you will need the JCE Content Editor installed on your computer in addition to the JE, JCE file manager which allows you to upload and link to files other than uh, the image link. So um, if you have that installed then you can perform this procedure. So the first thing to do is from your control panel is um, go to content article manager and open an article that you want to add a document link to. I'm going to open the Joomla overview article and I'm going to insert a document link to a PDF in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is first put my cursor where I want the link to be inserted. So I'm going to create a new paragraph and then on the menu bar I'm going to click the, the JCE editor menu bar. There's a um, an icon that shows a document with a link behind it and it says insert edit file. Um, and when I click on that it's going to display the dialog box and in this case in order to give a little better example I'm going to um, upload a document Actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to upload a document and um, that I have on my desktop it's this flyer.pdf. I'm going to open it and upload it. Okay, now when the upload is done, um, you get a, a red checkbox that said it was successful. Close this window, and the uh, Crestone flyer.pdf is the file I want to upload. Uh, you can see it's 190.32 kilobytes, for a fairly small file. Um, so your choices are on this, um, so it, that'll put the URL in here for you. You don't need to do anything with this. Um, if you want it to open in a new window, you can. I'm going to let it open in the same window. Um, and the title, I'm going to change from, I don't want it to be called Crestone Flyer. I'm going to just call it New Document. And then in the layout, I want it to show that it's a PDF icon. Um, so it'll show this icon right here, the PDF icon. If it was a Word document, it would show the Word uh, document icon or etc. for a zip file. Um, it'll show that. I'm also going to show the file size. Um, probably not necessarily with a smaller file, but it, I guess it's helpful to a user to know how big the download is going to be. Like if it's 20 megs, they might go, I'm not really going to download. It's too much. So I'm going to include the file size in this link. And then the next step is to click the insert button. And you can see that now I have a link here that says new document. It has a PDF icon and it shows the file size, 190 kilobytes. Um, so I'm going to click the apply button so that I can look at my changes in the Joomla front end. Okay, so my changes are saved and I'm going to go to the Joomla overview and reload. Okay, and then the document link is here. Now, th because this is a link to a PDF document, um, the way this document opens will depend on how the, the user's browser is configured. Um, by default, most browsers will open it up right in the existing window, so it'll it would replace this page with a PDF file. Um, the way I have my browser configured is that it opens it up in my default uh, PDF reader. So I'll, if I click on it, it's going to ask me what to do, and I'm going to just say open it with preview, which is a PDF viewer, and there's the document that I saved. Um, so just to review quickly again, um, to link to a document you click the insert edit file link and 
Once the dialog opens, you choose a file from your images directory, um, or you can upload a document if it's not there. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out was the different types of files you can upload. Um, with the JCE editor, you can upload almost, you know, the most common file types. But just to show you, I'll go to JCE administration groups. The groups is where the plugin parameters are set. So in the groups, I just have one group that's published, and it's the default one. And in there, I'm going to go to the plugin configuration. And up here, there's a tab for plugin parameters. And I'm going to scroll down until I see File Manager. Click Standard. And right here, it shows the permitted file extension. And as you can see, there's quite a few. Um, there's Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Text, JPEG, Zip, Tar, and even um, some open office documents. So it's a pretty complete list. You can add to it or remove if you want to prevent your backend users from uploading certain types of documents. But other than that, um, you should be all set and it makes it an easy way to add document links so that people can download documents such as PDFs or zip files directly from your web pages in Joomla. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you.